Well, here I am in the southeast side of the Mission District to check out a joint that started in the 30s as an Italian restaurant in a garage. Well, fast forward to 2006, and now it's a funky little joint that's serving up some killer southern comfort food. Oh, that's right. You got to come kick it at the front porch. Table seven, Frito pie. I know the food in my city. And you say that and that this is, is the it. only game in town. For honest to goodness Southern food, thanks to friends and business partners Josie White and Kevin Klein. We were always talking about this neighborhood needs one more funky little joint. This place became available, and she gave me a call. And the two partners brought in comfort food cook and chef Matt Marcus. Mac and cheese, table seven to introduce down-home favorites to the city by the bay, like this southern staple. Shrimp and grits in the window. My favorite thing on the menu. OK, what are we going to make first? First, we're going to make uh, grits for our shrimp and grits. So we're going to start with whole milk, water, equal parts, equal parts, and uh, unsalted butter. And we're going to just let this come to a boil. And then we're going to add our stone ground grits fresh ground black pepper, and plenty of kosher salt. Grits need a lot of salt. I agree with you. I agree with you. So we'll let these cook down. Yep. So our grits have cooked for 45 minutes. The last thing we want to add is sharp cheddar cheese. Next up, we're making? Uh, Creole seasoning. Start with kosher salt, black pepper, white pepper, cayenne pepper, Paprika, dark chili powder. I like where this is going. Uh, we have coriander, cumin, and last is ground mustard. And we just whisk this all together. Okay. And that's it. Uh, red eye gravy. Okay, so let's just get into it. We're gonna start with some canola oil. Uh, rough chopped shallots. A lot of them. A lot of them. Garlic. And andouille sausage generous portion of our Creole spice that we just made. And we're just gonna cook this down a little bit. We want those spices to kind of toast. So from there, we're gonna add a Worcestershire sauce, a Tabasco. A lot a of lot it. A lot of it. Well, it's called spicy shrimp and grits, so. Hence. We do chicory coffee here. And chicken stock. Did you make yourself, of course? Oh, absolutely. We're gonna bring it to a boil, let it simmer for about 45 minutes. So now we're on to start our shrimp and grits. Generous ladle of the red eye gravy that we just made. As if it's not spicy enough, we're gonna add a little bit of our Creole spice and a little bit of butter. And we're gonna add our wild gulf shrimp. So we're just gonna finish poaching them right in the red eye gravy here. Soak up all that great flavor. I'm dying to taste that sauce. So I say these guys are done. Plate her up. Flavor jets. All right, so we have our nice uh, creamy, cheesy grits. Now we'll do our shrimp right on top and the uh, reduced red-eye gravy with all the sausage and... Fixins. Fixins, you Don't got it. Don't put the fixins on there. And last, we have to add green onions. And there you go. Let's just get right into this right now. This isn't exactly how I know red-eye gravy to be where I'm from, but I will tell you, it is awesome. Got a little coffee kick. I mean, it's rich. Grits are cheesy. The andouille is spot on. Everything going on in this is outstanding. But really, the crescendo is a fresh shrimp. I mean, succulent. Have I ever used that word on Triple D? Oh my gosh. I'm here in Puerto Rico, PR as the locals call it, on Ashford Avenue. This is kind of like a hotel row where all the tourists come. You're gonna find all kinds of restaurants down here. But can you find yourself a real deal Puerto Rican restaurant serving meals like grandma made? You will right here. This is Orozco's. Beef empanadas. From one to 10, it's a 10. Carne frita ready. Caribbean style Puerto Rican cuisine. Spicy, but not hot. I always pass by and say, I gotta go to this place. This is Orozco. It's like soul food. And this food definitely runs deep in the soul of owner Jaime Orozco, who runs this spot along with his wife, Maria, and learned the tricks of the trade from his late father. Your dad was a restaurateur. Yes. 
I started working with him. I was studying computer engineering, and I realized that my life was here. So I used to have a restaurant down the block for 30 years. He owns this place, and I took partnership with him. And we built this from ground to the top, and I tried to keep it as, as a home cooking, as close as we can. Shrimp empanadas ready? Shrimp empanadas are my favorite. I, I love seafood. And then if you want some little heat, you put some of the spicy sauce on top also. What's up next? Shrimp empanadas. Another one of the staples here. For sure. We're going to do some of the Creole sauce, green pepper. Any oil, no, anything? No, just dry. Nada. Onions, tomate, vino blanco de cocinar. Cooking wine, got it. Adobo, chicken base. Oregano. Sazón con achote. The red is the achote. From the Inado seed. Garlic. Epazote. Recao. Recao. Thought I had it. And tomato paste. Pate de tomate. Pasta. Pasta. Pasta de tomate. I'm trying, folks. And then we put some water. Once it's in the boiling, we put some uh, cornstarch and water just to thicken it a little bit. Use that to cook the shrimp. What about the hot sauce? Oh, let's do it. That's right away. Hot sauce in Puerto Rico? Yes. There's not any hot sauce. I do. You're telling me. It's Orozco's hot sauce. Red chili flakes, garlic paste, cooking wine. Sazon. Sazon. We call it achote. Achote. You got that right. Spanish paprika. Chili powder or? Chili powder. Okay. Pickled jalapenos. Cayun liquid. Cayenne liquid, Cayenne liquid, which is hot sauce. Yes. That's wing sauce. Get some of that in your eye. Yeah, that's right. Look in there. We cook this down. Simmer. All right. And then we pour in the bottle directly. Now we build the empanada. Shrimps that have been chopped up a little. Put a little wine. Put some Creole sauce already done. We're going to use the dough. Then we put the shrimps in the middle. Put some cheese. That's it? One more cheese. No problem. The tricolored bell peppers. peppers. And then we close it all over. That's it? No. There's more. Let me see if he gets that fold yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll deep fry it for four to five minutes. Let's see it. The shrimp empanadas, our homemade hot sauce, cilantro. That's on point. The Creole shrimp, you didn't overcook them, so they're still nice and tender. The boss of the sauce is the hot sauce, some lemon. Legit, bro. Tell your pops to pick that up. Yeah. Dynamite. It's not too spicy. That acid coming in from the pickled jalapenos, you could put that on just about anything. Flip flop. Shrimp empanadas, five minutes. I love the, the shrimp in the inside. It's seasoned, cooked so perfectly. The kicker is with the pique. Awesome. Yeah, I, I could easily get in trouble with that. We're here on a family vacay in Maui. I'm doing what I always do. That's cruise around and look for awesome Triple D joints. So I'm here in Lahaina in a strip mall, here to check out a joint called Joey's, Joey's something. Uh, and what do you think they serve? No, they're not serving cheesesteaks and not hot dogs, not burgers. No, it's not an all-American diner with that name. Nope, it's Filipino Asian fusion. I didn't see that one coming. This is Joey's Kitchen. How are you guys? Joey's Kitchen is talk of the town. Order up, pinak bet, kicharon. We used to say it was our best kept secret, but I'm afraid the secret's out. Dave, fire garlic shrimp, two orders. The menu's like a Hawaiian Filipino fusion. Here's your garlic shrimp. I love the garlic shrimp. It's a really unique flavor. I haven't had it anywhere else. Green papaya, it's a sweet, sour crunch. It's a great salad. You know what time it is? Flavor time. <laughs> so what is this dish called? Garlic kawaii shrimp. And we're going to make a calamansi uh, fish sauce. This is our calamansi. A cross between orange and lime. A little tart, you know? Little tart. Calamansi. Palm vinegar. Sweet chili sauce. Fish sauce. Cilantro, garlic, a little bit of salt, and sugar. And the salad consists of the julienne carrots and the green papaya? I mean, talk about great on a flip-flop. That is. And salt it five minutes. You're always supposed to do that with green papaya? It gets crunchier. Rinse them out, and then you put the dressing over. What have I been with that all year? What are we doing with the shrimp? We're going to saute them, add butter. A lot of garlic. <laughs> Smells delicious. Sweet basil. And now this great sauce that we made that we also dressed our green papaya salad with. Beautiful presentation. Those are sea asparagus. It's flavor time somewhere. Get a picture of that. I'll try the salad first. Super crunchy. I love green papaya. That shrimp is tender and sweet. The sauce is money with the delicious little Papaya salad cleanser. You gotta eat the head. I see you doing it. Sure. This is how we eat it. Well, you made that look easy. The garlic kawaii shrimp. The kawaii shrimp is one of my favorite dishes in Hawaii. The papaya salad was so fresh. Order up, basil my curry. Such a happy and welcoming place to come and eat. You get a taste of Hawaii when you're here. It's fresh, creative, 
I don't think there's enough representation in Filipino food, do you? Nope, I think we're trying to develop all that. I don't think you're trying, chef. I think you have developed. Well done, buddy. Welcome back. I am hanging out at La Tostaria with Chef Fernando. This guy's got a story that you will love. Comes from Mexico, goes to Canada, opens the taqueria, comes down to the United States, opens a carnitas joint here in Grand Central Market, then goes to culinary school, elevates himself in the world of food, and opens up La Tostaria. Really fresh seafood, great ingredients, and they definitely take their time with every plate. It's a cross between a great ceviche joint and a taco stand, a tostada stand. So, he tells me that he makes a burger. Patrona burger at the window. The Patrona burger is delicious. Combination of cheese and shrimp and aioli. It's not your typical uh, seafood burger, which you get in a lot of other restaurants. It can't be beat, it's delicious. He says, if I don't love the burger, he's gonna buy free lunch for all my crew. I hate the burger. Ah! <laughs> all right, what's first? Okay, mango, rubber pepper, chives, and then? Let me guess, cilantro. Cilantro, exactly. Can't believe your middle name's not cilantro. Apple cider vinegar, salt, agave nectar. Okay. Aguacados from the capital of the avocado, Michoacan. You just drop Michoacan in as often as you can, don't you? I love my steak. I know you do. So you just toss it, put okay. all together. All right, time for the burger? Yeah. Wild Mexican shrimps. Not frozen. No frozen. Okay. Makes big difference. Makes a huge difference. Salt, pepper, Butter, the bun also is Oaxaca cheese. Oaxaca cheese is like jack mozzarella. Yeah. That's gonna be kind of what actually holds this burger together. Yeah. It's like the duct tape in Mexican food. Now we got the buns. Okay. Chipotle aioli. And before culinary school, he called that chipotle menes. Lettuce, tomato. Now we have our shrimp cook with the Oaxaca cheese melting. Onion, we're gonna use the avocado mango radish. As much as I think I'm gonna love this, I'm still gonna tell you I hate it, so you gotta feed my crew. <laughs> Shredder, potatoes. This is for the crunchiness. Done. I haven't had to bust out the hunch in a while. This one might deserve it. I got good news and I got bad news. Tell me. Good news is that's fantastic. The bad news is the crew's hitting the vending machine. <laughs> when you bite into it, you get the saltiness of the cheese, the texture of the cheese, the shrimps cook perfectly, and then all the accoutrement, the shredded lettuce, the chipotle mayo, the tomato, the raw onion, the phenomenal salsa with the mango and the avocado. I pride myself in my burgers. I'm known for my burgers. That right there in my expectation level of burgers, that is about as high as they go. Thank you. Outstanding. Thank you. Patrono burger? The bread is really moist. It's got some nice aioli sauce on it. It's really tasty. You can tell the seafood. It's not frozen. All these extra little toppings on it makes it the bomb. Do all the fish tacos out. You come to a market like this, you stereotype that it's about that wow factor. Yeah. This is like high-end, fancy restaurant, elevated Mexican food. Completely unexpected. La tostaderia, fresh as can be. It's everything that you need, basically. I got some place for you. Take it home. And anytime when you see my place, you, you're gonna remember about me. You drive too fast. You're mad because you lost. I am mad because I lost. So we're on the west side of Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, you remember the penguin? Everybody remembers the penguin. Well, it closed, but the guy Greg opened up a new joint over here on the west side. And you know what? This is Pinky's West Side Grill. Redneck turbot syrup up. The people, the energy, the food is good. Woo! Love it. I'm here about three or four times a week. This used to be an old garage that worked on Volkswagens. That's why there's a Volkswagen on the roof. This old garage switched gears from cars to cooking in 2010, when chef and owner Greg Otten cruised over from a legendary local spot. It was about eight years ago that we met you at the Penguin. Mm -hmm. And a funky little joint and a great time. That place is closed. Things have changed. To see how you reopen, it's bigger, it's badder, it's faster than it was. Shrimp tacos up. Just great food, great atmosphere. And it's just a wonderful energy that's here. Mm. Greg brings up things that you would think, what? And, and when you taste it, it's just fantastic. Corn dog shrimp up. Corn dog shrimp is delicious. The corn dog batter is sweet, and then the shrimp tend to be a little bit salty. It's just good. OK, what are we making next? We are making the batter for the corn dog shrimp. Dipsy dog corn dog mix. That's very old school. A lot of fairs and circuses and stuff like that use it. We're going to go in with the water, and we're going to jump on it with a whisk. All right, so see how nice and creamy that is? So it'll really coat to that shrimp. 
right, here we go. 21, 25 shrimp. Grab them by the tail. By the tail. Dump them in. OK. You got to set them in there nice and easy. Float set them a bit. In and let it go. That's so it doesn't just sink to the bottom. Let it fly. There you go. Whoa! Corn dog shrimp ready to go. Perfect, them babies are. <laughs> Pretty proud of yourself on these, aren't yes. you? Yes. Get in after it. Oh, yeah. They're so good. It tastes like a corn dog. Sweet, crunchy batter. Straight from the fair. Straight yep. from the fair. Straight from the fair. Not salty. The corn dog shrimp is something I've never had. And I'll be back to Pinkies weekly because they're so good. Corn dog shrimp. The breading they use on there with the shrimp inside, it's extra sweet. It's always fresh shrimp. It's great stuff. Ding dong chicken up. All the food is right on. It's all around a good experience.